on the lead up to busier periods or higher booking periods, it's important that uh, you have your peak pricing set up so that when you do receive a booking, you can be sure that it's being calculated at the correct rate and it just makes it much easier for you to be able to accept that booking the first time around. So to do this, go to the Holiday with Dogs website and log in and then go to the Property Manager dashboard. Prices are updated within the actual property listing. So that's properties, manage properties, and then in your listing card here, edit property. Overview and pricing, so that's done on the very first page. You can see you've got your base pricing here, which is either 175 or 200, depending on the night of the week. And that's for two people. And then I have set up in this example that it would be an additional charge of $20 per additional person up to the maximum, which is four. Okay, so the peak pricing is all taken care of in custom pricing. So the example I've got here is for Christmas 2018. Um, once this Christmas period has passed, it's really simple to just update those dates and move it forward to 2019. So you don't actually have to create an entire new pricing. It's just a matter of moving the dates. And if you did make a change to your pricing, updating your pricing. Okay, but if you want to add in any additional custom pricing, so for example, you might want to add in the June long weekend, you just give it a name, allocate some dates. So this is Friday the 8th through to Monday the 11th, input the rate, and then stipulate how many minimum nights. You can also uh, set a price so that the entire house is booked out at one rate. So that is, regardless of if you wanted to have one, two, three, or four guests staying, it would be an entire rate. And so you would just tick that so that the system knows not to calculate a per person rate. But I don't want to do that for this example. And where you'd like to create a category with multiple date periods, for example, uh, you might want to include school holidays for uh, the June, July school holidays and for the September school holidays. So pop in the dates of the first school holiday range. So that's the 29th of the 6th through to the 15th. That's the Victorian dates. And then for September is the 21st through to the 7th. And might also put in June next year um, because Easter is often at a higher rate for some. Okay. So for this example, I'm going to ask for four nights minimum. And then because you've got these three date ranges, it gives you the flexibility to just keep updating each date period as they pass. So once we've got through the June, July school holidays for 2018, I can push that forward for the September 2019 school holidays. Add pricing and update and continue to move through the rest of your listing update. Always when you make a change, Follow the update and continue through to finish updating so those changes are saved. Then the next time a guest comes to your listing and they're trying to book for one of those peak periods, you can be sure that your pricing is being calculated correctly.